Hey guys, this is High Five here. I've received a comment regarding Planted Lock in my first video, which is 10 unique iPhone tweaks. And this video is going to be solely based on how to set that theme up, and I'm sure it'll solve all of your problems. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Before we begin, um, you just have to have three things installed. They will be listed in the description below as everything else you will need. Um, the first thing you're going to need is Winterboard. You probably already have that. You're going to need the Slanted Lock theme, which you already have that. And the thing that you're probably not going to have installed is Lock String Clock Hide. You're going to want to make sure that you have that installed because the Slanted Lock theme is all widget. So the clock right here is not the actual clock. So if you have, if you don't have lock screen clock hide, your clock will be up here too, and there'll be two clocks, and it'll just be really retarded. All right, let's get straight into this. Right after you install all the things listed above, you're going to go into Safari and type the first link that's in the description. Um, it'll it'll say whether it'll say slanted lock configuration. You're gonna type that right into the top bar right there word for word even caps if it's in capitals type it as capitals I emphasize that because when I try to get back here I didn't type it in capitals and it didn't show up so that's probably where a lot of you went wrong so okay so now a lot of you might be wondering how to get your Yahoo Yahoo weather W O E I D um I don't know what W O E I D stands for but I know how to get it um you're gonna go to Yahoo weather which is linked in the description below you are going to search up your city um, then in the address bar above um, the video above I mean the weather sorry um, there's going to be numbers at the end of it I might show you a screenshot or something or I might just completely cut this and go on the computer The AccuWeather zip code, you're going to leave that as it is because you're not actually using that. And leave the AccuWeather used real feed to whatever it's set to. And then you're going to want to set your temperature scale, mine set to Celsius because I'm in Canada. And your time display, 12 hours or 24 hours. And icon set, I would set your icon set to HTC because um, when I reinstalled this theme, um, the weather stuff didn't show up until I set it to HTC, so make sure you set that to HTC. And your update interval, you can set that to whatever you want. You can have it update every 15 minutes. And what I mean by update is that just the weather will update. And then the wallpaper set. Um, with the wallpaper set, you can do a custom wallpaper set. Um, I might do that in a future video, but I suggest that the best way to do this is um, 24 hours because that gives you the sunrise and the sunset and that makes it look very cool and you're going to hit set config which is down here and settings successfully saved good job and then you're done and all you have to do is just spring just go to for spring and you're done. Um, Slanted Lock just takes a while to open because it is a widget and an application. There you go. And basically, if your weather doesn't show up right away, that's because it's refreshing. Just let it refresh and if it doesn't refresh after like a minute or two, just respring and then it should appear. Um, right now it's raining and it's 3 degrees. I have no clue why it's raining in Canada and it's March. So yeah, it should not be raining at all. That's really bad. But um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Like down there. And the subscribe is 
Oh god, I have to do this again. It's up there. And I hope you will see some of my future videos. Rock on.